Welcome, Alex Forte here, The Art of Simple Golf. We are with Alistair Davis, one of the UK's top 25 coaches. And he's got some great you know, drills that you can do at home or on the range that are going to increase your swing speed and your consistent swing speed with natural methods. And that's the idea. So we have a couple of sticks here. And what are we going to do with them? We're basically going to use them as a warm-up drill and also as a way of breaking up your practice to increase your swing speed. Okay. So they're basically alignment rods. Yeah. Um, the beauty about these is they're really light. Yeah. This one here's just got a rubber handle on the end of it, but you can put a grip on it if you wanted to or yeah. just use a normal rod. The key thing we want to do basically is just make as much speed as we can with these. And again, all the research shows that the lighter the object we're swinging or throwing around, the faster we will do it. Yeah. I mean, um, the, the old way of thing used to have like heavy clubs or put lead weights on an old wooden driver to try and increase that swing speed but we kind of know, now know that that's incorrect yeah that kind of bring, builds muscle a bit doesn't it yeah. but it doesn't create speed yeah um, and speed is the king really isn't exactly. it exactly so what we're going to do if i set up to this kind of ball here if i just get you to move out the way a second what we're looking to do is basically create as much noise as we can at the bottom of the swing where the yeah. ball would be now and i'd want you to do kind of five or ten reps of this just trying to create as much speed as you can and you might do it as I said a warm up so dynamic warm up first then this yeah. create that speed get that flow and then hit some golf balls try and do it in a resemblance of balance but if you are coming out of your shoes a little bit that's not a bad thing yeah. and then what you might do is every 10 balls when you're doing like a speed set practice session you might do two or three swings or five swings with this stick again to develop that speed during the swing balls back again. to hitting balls again okay. so I mean there's a couple of things that we see isn't there when people try this uh, they're basically accelerating in the wrong place because it's highlighting some swing faults so you know that sort of hitting from the top here trying to hit at the golf ball will cause people to accelerate you know well before the ball so by the time they're actually getting to here not only have they cast the club but they're decelerating more or less yeah this gives that auditory feedback which is something that i know that you love and it's always going to help your game too yeah the more feedback you can get when you're practicing uh the better so if the noise is happening too early then you can sort of pick that up pretty quickly. Yeah. So the noise has to be in the kind of ball hitting area to give you the maximum power transfer. Yeah, like listen uh, for the whoosh kind of thing. It's a, it's a great drill. So get yourself an alignment stick um, and just whip away, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't cost a lot of money. It's good fun. Uh, Use in the garden as well. Yeah. But realistically, just do dynamic warm Do this as you warm up. That'll get you moving quite fluently and quite fast to start your game of golf or your practice session. Excellent. Great stuff, Alistair. Now, we're going to have another video of this series over on Alistair's channel um, like and subscribe and we will be seeing you soon but put that into action and you're going to see some great improvements thanks